Just talk us through the kind of thing you've been witnessing in the last few days. Well, it's a, it's a huge calamity. Um, the very first day, the day that it happened, we got down there sort of sometime in the afternoon and the first thing that struck us was first how much water there was there and secondly how few people were actually helping and how most of the people who were helping were Ukrainians. Uh, by that stage there had already been declared uh, an emergency. President Zelensky had been up since the beginning of the morning telling everyone that it was holding emergency meetings with his National Security Council, alerting the world uh, that there'd been this huge calamity. The mayor of the area had been telling people to get out, save yourselves, move quickly because the a critical point was going to hit within a few hours. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. Over the next three, four days, we saw the waters creep up and up and up. So streets that we were able to wade through at the beginning, you couldn't get down without a boat by the following morning. And then the third morning, it was, uh, it was up covering the top of street signs and uh, the tip of, of roofs. Even three, four days on, there was still hardly any sign, certainly that we saw, any evidence at all of international aid organizations taking part in what was clearly a huge humanitarian and ecological disaster. It was mainly volunteers, a lot of Ukrainian volunteers, Ukrainian residents who were just finding their own boats, getting dinghies and, and, and pushing them out to try and save animals and humans, many of whom um, had stayed after that first night thinking because the waters were coming in uh, at a regular but slowish pace, they'd stayed overnight and then the following morning found themselves, uh, you know, surrounded by water and unable to get out with no electricity and things were obviously going to get worse and worse. So the President Zelensky by the third day was de really denouncing what he called the shameful indifference by uh, certain global world players. He really criticised the aid organisations. Of course, remember, a lot of the aid organisations are already based in Ukraine because of the ongoing humanitarian catastrophe calls caused by the war. Um, so there was, there was no sudden having to rush to this country to help out. They were already based here. But very, very few seem to be on the ground actually helping out. And then by Thursday, it got even worse because by this stage there were quite a large collection of Ukrainian volunteers, citizens, um, trying to help out and, and really motor the, the uh, relief operation when the, there was a lot of shelling and attacks right on the evacuation points, uh, more than one evacuation point, uh, which we witnessed ourselves. And this morning we've heard that uh, the UN has asked for and been refused permission to get to the, the left bank, which is under Russian occupation, the other side of the Dnipro River. So there is an ongoing human catastrophe and, and ecocide is how President Zelensky described it, this environmental catastrophe, because it's not just the short term impact of what's happening right in front of us with elderly, frail, vulnerable uh, people and children, some of whom are fleeing themselves from the Russian occupied side and making it over and talking about how Russian troops are looting their houses on the left bank, how they themselves appear to have been taken surprise by the dam burst and how uh, they're trying to steal their boats to escape they, and, and, and how they feel like the, 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 they're being attacked as they're leaving. Not only is that happening, but there's a, an ongoing long-term impact of 600 square kilometres of just the Kherson region, the Kherson Oblast, which is underwater. And this water is filthy. It's full of sewage, oil, toxic chemicals, all sorts of things, as well as floating landmines which have been dislodged by this torrent of water which is rushing down. And, and we've seen 160 kilometers away from uh, Kherson city in Odessa, sofas and broken uh, washing machines and even a, a dog floating on top of a, a door landing up 160 kilometers downstream of the river. So a huge catastrophe here that's unfolding on top of the war with evacuations being conducted under fire.